Welcome ladies and gentlemen. Please consider liking this video. You give your opinion at the comment section below and don't forget to share this video. And for those who are returning subscribers, I want to appreciate you so much because of your great support. Please don't forget, don't forget to like this video. And those who are visitors, please consider subscribing to this channel. I will appreciate you so much because that is an assurance that you are supporting the work of this channel. Let us go back to the main discussion. Ladies and gentlemen, Pastor Nanga is blowing up. Pastor Nanga is literally blowing up. And because of his anger, directing it to ESCC is because last night, as per the news that was trending, was that Pastor Nanga was to refund the land to the government of the day and pay a fine of 1.6 billion Kenyan shillings because of acquiring the land not in accordance to the law. But Pastor Nanga is asking, I bought this land, I got and I, I got the title deed 2004. During the regime of Mwai Kibaki, no one asked about the land. 2013 to 2022, no one asked the land. But in this regime of William Ruto, I'm being asked about the title deed and how I acquired the land. And he went to the land ministry and he tried to research his land, where the name evangelist, uh, evangelical center is. He found that the land was okay. There was no problem. But now, what is the problem now? Pastor Nanga is blowing up, blowing up and saying this. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Pastor Nanga has been there. In the regime of Mwai Kibaki, amekua pale. Regime ya Uhuru Kenyatta, amekua pale. Na liyo isasa regime ya William Ruto is being asked about the land. The question is, the way Pastor Nanga is asking, where was the EACC? Where was the EACC? Because it is such a kind of shocking actions that are coming to Pastor Nanga as he's saying he bought the land. No one is claiming any balance. He's having the title deed. He did a research. And he searched the title deed. And he got that there is no problem. So now as they are being told. That this was the part and parcel of the land of railways. Pastor Nang is questioning the government of the day. Is it clear. That they are after this land because of the railway. Or. Does it mean that there are certain individuals behind the scene who wants this parcel of land? So those are the questions they are asking. But now, this was also seen uh, when it comes to the land of Bishop Margaret Wajiu. The same thing was trying to happen there. But yesterday, it seems like uh, Bishop Margaret Wajiu is like, apologizing because Inaonekana ni kwamba maneno imetengenezwa. Na vile maneno imetengenezwa is like someone maybe defending her and protecting the property. But what about the pastor Nanga? Because now it is pastor Nanga, the next land, I think, of Bewot. Then we are having a petrol station there. So it is petrol station, the church of pastor Nanga, then the land of Bewot. They are being questioned. How they got the land. How they got the land? The land. And they are being given a penalty of 1.65 billion Kenyan shillings that they should pay for causing the government of the day to lose a lot of money because of that land. That is what uh, the news was telling us yesterday. Now, General, <laughs> aka Pastor Nana, is claiming that no one will touch the land. And if someone is going to touch the land, then he is not the pastor, he's not the bishop, then he was not called. 
is even going ahead and describing how he passed a lot of problem. He was jailed, he was a thief. Kutoka huko akanangana, akanua hiyo shamba, akaeka kanisa yake hapo. Na sasa kuna vile anakuwa frustrated and humiliated. In fact, blackmailed because he bought that land. But that time he was buying the land. The authorities were there. So Pastor Ngang is asking the ESCC to go and ask the CBK. Because I think according to Pastor Ngang, it's like they bought this land through the CBK, Central Bank of Kenya. So they should go and ask the CBK if it is genuine for them to own those parcel of land. So Pastor Ngang is so furious and is so angry with the government of the day together with EACC. <laughs> He's calling it ICC, but it is EACC. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? What do you think? Because now, it seems like some people are like, we are fighting for the public land. But will they give the, the, the government of the day or public this land? Or are we having some individuals who are fighting for this land? then at the end of the day, they are going to own these lands. Perhaps, maybe we don't know what is behind the scene. But as much as we are concerned, we are just waiting how things are going to be. Are they going to demolish the church? Or what next? Are they going to require Pastor Nganga to pay more money so that he can re-own the land? Or what is the basis of the argument? Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of your great support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video. Bye-bye till you meet on another video.